right, YouTube, you are hearing my uh, guitar fetish jazz bass kit in its complete form. Everything is finished on it. Let me get uh, this in front of you so you can get a good look at it. Uh, this kit comes with all the pieces, but you got to put it all together. you got to stain the wood. You've got to uh, put the electronics in. This is already pre-wired, but you do have to wire the pickups into it. Uh, sounds great. You know, for the price, uh, I think I paid 105 for the kit. Definitely, uh, it was fun to make. There's a couple of gotchas, which I'll go into in a minute, but uh, all right. So what you got is uh, two single coil pickups. They're uh, wired like a jazz bass, so they're uh, wired like a humbucker. So when you have both of them up, they cancel out any hum. If you turn it down, you will get hum out of that one. Uh, if you turn down this one, you'll get hum out of that one, and you know you get a tone knob on it. Uh, it's made out of an Asian wood. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Pretty good. It took the tongue oil that I put on it pretty good. It really darkened up the grain. I really like how it looks. Uh, the neck is a uh, rosewood neck. Um, you, you do have to know how to set up the action on things. So if you just uh, you know, tongue oil it and put it together, uh, it's probably not going to work out for you. You definitely need to understand how to set up the action and the, the intonation, how to put uh, a nut in a guitar because the nut comes separate. You're going to have to glue it in there. Uh, you can see I haven't done much with the head here. I'm probably going to get uh, one of my kids to draw like a Frankenstein picture on it, and that's going to be my headstock. Uh, let me just kind of go over some of the uh, interesting parts of this uh, build. Uh, one thing you'll see is I got a little wire. I haven't finished uh, doing this, but there's no routed hole under the bridge, so your bridge is not grounded the way that the kit comes. So I'm either going to have to get a drill and either go from this cavity or this cavity and put a hole in under this. Uh, another option I was going to look at is copper tape that sits underneath the bridge, goes to right here, and then it, I solder it under the pickup to the ground wire, which is this wire right here. So that, that's a gotcha you have if you put it together. Uh, another thing that I didn't anticipate when I got the kit is the frets hung out a little bit from uh, the neck. So I had to file them down a little bit because I was, I was cutting my finger open as I was going up and down having fun playing it. So you do need to have uh, you know, a drill or take it to some, uh, not a drill, a, a file and take it to somebody to file down the, the ends of the frets. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary, but they may stick out. Uh, I followed the, the uh, directions I found on the internet. Uh, put tongue oil on it and coat a tongue oil on the back of the neck. It's very slick and smooth. It reminds me of like a shredding, you know, six string guitar. It's very fast. So it's a nice sounding guitar. Uh, you can hear it, it's on a Carbon uh, PB200, very basic amp. I don't have the noise gate on, I don't have the compression on. I'm going to cut the compression on, kind of sweeten it up here a little bit. Uh, increase the bass frequencies a little bit so it might sound more like a live bass now. Alright, now I'm rolling off the uh, neck pickup, so I'm only on the bridge pickup now, if you can see that. So it's kind of got that, uh, you know, honk sound you get from the... Uh... Alright, now I'm rolling off the uh, bridge pickup, and it's only the neck pickup. Then when you put them together, you get a nice... What I consider defined sound. And you can roll the tone knob off and kind of get the less definition. All right, let me get you, uh, you can see the action there. Let me get a little close up of the bridge. 
can see that I've uh, taken it down a little bit to lower the action. You, it does come with the uh, Allen wrenches for that and the Allen wrench to adjust the truss rod, which uh, you will definitely need to do after you finish putting this guy together. Really happy with the kit, but uh, you know, fair warning, you, you probably will need to file down the ends of the frets that stick out, or you know, if you like to cut your hands up when you're playing, keep on doing it. Um, and that, that ground uh, path, you know, in a normal kind of jazz bass, uh, there's normally a routed hole that goes from the cavity to underneath the bridge so you can ground the bridge. So this kit does not come with that, so you're going to have to work around it, either make that hole or do something uh, interesting like the wire I've got here or put copper tape in there. Like uh, some of the, I've seen some of the old jazz style basses have copper tape that goes from here to here and then you solder the copper tape into the cavity. But, uh... <laughs> Mm-hmm. 